Hey, what's going on? My name's Shannon and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to show you how you can create a video for your business using nothing but the iPhone and then edit that video on the iPhone as well. So in today's video, we're not going to be using any special accessories. We're not going to use any microphones. We're going to use a built-in microphone for the iPhone. We're not going to use any lights. We're using a window for the light. And the real only accessory I'm using is a tripod. It's a phone tripod that I got from Best Buy. It's by Joby. And you can get that at Best Buy or Amazon.com. The good thing about Best Buy, especially right now, I'm recording this during the quarantine, is Best Buy is doing curbside delivery. So you can order it, drive right, right to the store, they'll bring it out for you. So that's really the only accessory I'm using because I don't want to stand, stand here and hold the phone in front of me. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so quickly, a couple things. Number one, you wanna make sure that the lighting is good where you are at. So what you wanna do is get in front of a video. Put the window in front of you right now. The window is right over here and the camera is facing you. So the window is behind the camera facing you. That's going to give you the best lighting situation or you can go outside. If you're gonna go outside, you wanna make sure that the sun is not directly behind you though. You want the sun over to the side of you or in front of you and most likely you're gonna to wanna to be in the shade so you're not actually squinting and people can actually see your eyes. So that's very important when it comes to lighting. You wanna make sure you get that right most of all. That's the most important thing. Get in front of a good light source. All right, number two is you wanna make sure your audio is the best that it can possibly be. So you want to be relatively close to the phone. So in this example right here, you can hear what, what it sounds like, and I am an arm's length away from the phone. So you wanna get close so that that microphone picks you up and you sound decent. Now, as always, if you have a microphone, it's gonna sound better, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a microphone. All right, so I'm editing the video right now and realized that there's a tip that I wanted to give you guys that I forgot to talk about when I was initially recording this. So I wanted to edit this real quick and talk about that tip. And you also wanna make sure that you get the framing of yourself right. And one of the really good ways to do that if you have an Apple Watch is you can actually control your, your oh, did that go away? If you can see that, yeah, you can see it right there. So you can actually control your camera app with the camera app on your phone. So you can pull up the camera app on your watch and see yourself in the camera app. So what you wanna do is make sure that your background looks decent. I know there's some things I could do to make it look a lot better, but I'm not trying to make this look like a professional studio. I'm trying to show you how you can do it the best way possible. So uh, make sure that the background looks okay and that you get yourself framed in the, in the video correctly. And if you have an Apple Watch, great tool to help you do that. So now that those two technical questions are out of the way, the next technical question I get is, well, what app should I use? Well, I'm using the regular camera app right on the iPhone. So that's what we're gonna use for this. So I'm gonna spend the bulk of this video showing you how to edit your video. The reason being is most people struggle with video because they think that they need to be perfect, that they need to start and get through the entire thing without messing up. And I have not done that so far. I've stopped a couple times, I've looked at my notes, and I've kept on going and then I'm going to edit this all together so that looks relatively seamless. So realize we're gonna get pretty technical here pretty quick and I'm gonna show you what app to get and how to use it so that you can sit down, record a video and then edit together so that you look like you, you did it without stopping. Now, in order to get to the editing part, you need to actually create a video and the biggest question I get is, what am I going to talk about? And really that's, the easiest part of this entire thing. What you need to talk about is questions and answers. So every day in your business, you get questions. How do I do this? What does this mean? How do you do this? What does this consist of? And you naturally just answer those questions. However, what you wanna do is just take those commonly asked questions and answer them right on a video, just like I did here. What I just did is what you need to do. I took a question that I get all the time. What do I talk about? and I answered it. In your, in your situation, it is talk about the questions that you get every single day. 
Now you might want to do something different and you can also do what I call a show and tell video. So you can stand behind the camera, not be on the camera and actually show people something and talk about it. Now you can do this in one of two ways. You can stand behind the camera, walk around, let's say you're a realtor, for example, walk around a house and talk about a house as you're recording the house. Now let's say you're a landscaper and you don't want to stand behind the the camera and talk but you want to grab a bunch of video clips so what you can do let's for example you go out and you take a bunch of video clips of different types of weeds that uh, invade lawns and you want to talk about how to get rid of those weeds and what's the best defense against those weeds and how it can help make their lawn look better and be easier to maintain and things of that nature. So what you can do is take video clips of everything and then you can do what's called a voiceover and talk about those different weeds and different scenarios as you, you're actually showing the video. And I'm gonna show you how to do both of those things in the editing portion of this video. All right, so the app we're going to use to edit everything is called LumaFusion. Now, this is a paid app and it's not expensive by any means. However, in terms of apps, it's not cheap. It's 20 bucks, 19.99, I believe, for an iPhone. However, it's worth the investment in my opinion. And the reason is it gives you a lot of tools and it's fairly simple to work with. And it works really, really well and allows you to produce a really high quality video right from your iPhone. So go ahead and download the LumiFusion app and then I'm going to go into the app, take these video clips that we're talking about right now, and I'm going to piece together a video and show you exactly how I do that. All right, so now we're in LumaFusion. The first thing we need to do is create a project, but first let me show you my finger is going to create a blue dot every time I touch something. So when I touch and click, you're gonna see a blue dot appear on the screen. I'm also going to be describing where I'm going to be clicking for you as well. So to create a new project, first thing we wanna do down at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we're gonna click the plus button with the box around it. That is going to create our new project. We're gonna leave all of the, the defaults the same, and then we're gonna click the plus button with the box around it one more time to create our project. Now we need to get to the videos so that we can import the videos and start working on them. Now, you get to the videos in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see right now, in my case, it is a folder, but click on that icon. That icon could be this photos, the files, imported story blocks, whatever you clicked on last is gonna be there. So let's go to photos. We're gonna click on photos, and then if this screen doesn't look like this and it looks like this, we're going to go to videos or all photos and videos. But in this case, we're just going to go to videos and, and then we're going to select the video that we want to work with. Now, I know that the video I want to work with is this video right here. So I'm going to click that video. Now, if I just click it, it, it will uh, bring it into the source preview file and then we can start editing from here if we wanted to and if I was on a bigger screen I probably would but what I want to do is go ahead you can do it in two ways you can click on it and then click this button right down here on to the right it's like a little down arrow we're going to click that that's going to put it onto our timeline now I can scroll I'm I'm moving my finger left and right I can scroll through all of the footage now what I wanna do is go to the beginning and I can also pinch and zoom. So I can take my footage and I can zoom all the way out so that I can see everything and get through this super quick. And then when I get back to the, the beginning, I can zoom back in so I can start editing. Now, if you notice, when I'm editing, what I like to do is I leave long pauses whenever I mess up. So right here's one. That actually isn't one, right here's one. This is where I messed up. You can see I'm talking, I stop, I take a, a breath, and then I start talking again. That's where I messed up. So I need to see what that actual mess up is. So I start by introducing myself. Hey, what's going on? My name's Shannon. All right, but did I mess that part up and I restarted it? Let's see. So in today's video, we're not gonna be using any fancy so no, what I did was I introduced myself and then when I get to the part when I'm talking about uh, not using any fancy equipment, I then cut it. So how do I cut this, this stuff? So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more 
And when you cut and edit it, what you want to do is bring this blue line that's going vertical right here to where you want to cut, and you can stop it. Then you hit the little scissor icon that's right down here at the bottom, mid of your screen, hit the scissor icon, that's going to make a cut. Now I can tap on the part of the video that I no longer want, and I can click on the trash can. Now that took that away and I have the video. So I'm gonna play through this video until I find the part where I wanna cut, and then once I find the part where I wanna cut, I will show you again. All right, so right here is where I messed up. So I introduce myself, talk about what we're gonna be talking about, and then I start talking about the accessories. Now today, we're going to be... So I messed that part up, and this is where I wanna make that cut. So right about here, I'm gonna make a cut. So now I'm going to find where my new part starts. This is where I'm going to start doing it again. So in today's video, we're not going to be using any. So I want to then make another cut right at the beginning of there. So right before I start talking again. So we got two cuts right where I messed up, right where I begin talking again. Now what we're going to want to do, I'm going to zoom out to show you, is I'm going to select that part that I no longer want, and I'm simply going to hit this delete button, and that's going to snap the two together. So now it's going to transition um, to me talking about the, the right part. So let's do that. Edit that video on the iPhone as well. So in today's video, we're not gonna be using any fancy accessories. We're not gonna use any microphones. We're not gonna use any special lights. We are gonna use one thing and that's a phone. So now we have that we have that together. And I think I actually messed up again and I started over. So let's look at this part right here and see what that says. So in today's video, we're not gonna- So I did. So I, where I started here, I decided to start over again and do that part over again. So this part right here. So in today's video- All right, I messed that up. So I started again right here. So in today's video, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut right there. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see this. I'm gonna click, click on that section. Then I'm gonna click the delete button. Now, when I zoom back in and I play, it's then edited. edit that video on the iPhone as well. So in today's video, we're not gonna be using any. Sp all right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go through all of the video and find all of the cuts. And when I find the cuts, I'm gonna show you the cut and um, show you how to fix it a couple times. And then I'm just gonna cut everything down and show you what I would do next. All right, so right here, I'm, I, I finished my intro and we're gonna get into the video. And get into the video. So I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna create my cut and then I start back again. All right, so quickly, a couple things. Number. I'm gonna hit the scissor icon once again, and then click on here and click the trash. And now we have, and I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna show you guys how to put a transition. Oops, hit cancel, replace on that. All right, so in this, in this right here, we're going to go ahead and put a transition. So I'm gonna put a fade transition in here because I quit talking and I'm starting talking again about the same subject, but the next, the next part. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button right down here in the center of the screen. Then I'm gonna click transition. That added a fade transition right there. So you can see it fades into me talking again. Get in to the video. All right, so quickly a couple things. Number So if you wanna add, add transitions, that's how you do it. However, I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing this video. I'm gonna find all of my mistakes. I'm going to cut them out. I'm not gonna do anything other than cut out all of my mistakes and make it line up so when I'm talking and I'm listening to it, I can hear uh, what I'm trying to, to say. And then after that, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some tweaks to show you how to make this look really good. All right, so I have gone ahead and edited all of my mess ups out. And what you see is all of the cuts. So now up here, if you look up here, you see all of these black lines. Those are all of my cut points. And I have done nothing super extravagant besides cutting out the bad parts and leaving in the good parts. So as you see, when I'm talking, it's just going to make abrupt cuts to where I stopped messing up and started talking again. And you want to talk about how to get rid of those weeds and what's the best defense against those weeds and how it can help make their lawn look better and be easier to maintain and things of like that. So you can see right there I cut, and let's do a cut right. We'll show you one of my cuts here. 
microphone is gonna sound better, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a microphone. So now that those two- All right, so you can see all of these are just non-fancy cuts. This is what that timeline actually looks like. Now up here as well, you can see these little white marks. The white marks are actually markers and you can add a marker by hitting this um, little shield looking icon with a plus right here where the blue mark is. That will add a marker and then you can label the marker. And what I've done is as I was cutting, if I wanna add something into this video, I have added a marker there. So I know when I go back, for instance, it needs, I'm gonna put text here. Right here, it needs um, a Best Buy screen share because I'm talking about Best Buy right there. And then uh, this is the tester one that I just did right here. I know that I was talking about framing that I wanted to add back in the front here. So those are the markers where I need to, where I need attention. Now, first thing I wanna talk about is what happens if I need to add something in the middle of one of these cuts. So, whoops, I just moved something there. Now, if you ever do something like I just did, I tried to zoom in. I grabbed something and moved it. If you ever do anything like that, all you need to do is over in the middle of the screen to the right hand side, this back arrow, just hit that back arrow. That's gonna undo what you just did. So I'm gonna zoom back in on here. Now let's in here, when I'm talking about the tips. Seeing you, so the window is be All right, so right here, I'm talking about the tips of what you should do. Now I also wanna talk about framing in here. because I wanna uh, tell you about the background. So, so I'm gonna put that framing um, part that I missed in here. So if you look in here now Over to the side of you or in front of you and most likely you're gonna want to be in the shade So you're not actually squinting and people can actually see all right, so that I'm still talking about lights So it's gonna sound better, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a microphone So now that those two technical so, questions are so right there um, I'm going to add in another part that I missed that I want into in, in that section. So if I look when I'm editing, I think it's right here. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can do it without a microphone. So now that those two. All right. So right in between here is where I want to put it. Now, if we look up here, you can see that black line right there. I know, I know for my, my reference is in between this clip in this clip is where I want to put that. So I'm going to come um, back here and it's right here. This is where I'm talking about it. All right. So I'm editing the video right now and I actually in and you see I messed up there. All right. So I'm editing the video. Right All right. So I'm going to make an edit right there. I'm going to hit the scissors, which is the uh, cut tool. Hit that. And then this part we're going to add into the uh, the area where we want it. All right, so I'm editing the video right now and realized that there's a tip that I wanted to give you guys that I forgot to talk about when I was initially recording this. So, All right, so we're going to take that part and add it where we want it. So now we can take this and just slide back. All right, so now I'm looking at the, um, the blue bar. I know I'm right in between where I want to be, so I want to put it in between those clips right there now see when i bring that up i'm going to move this over a little bit more so you can see it when i put this right here see how it has the yellow lines um where it kind of shows uh it's going to go in between those two clips i'm just going to drop it right there and then it dropped it right in between those two clips so now if we listen i'm better but in this case i'm going to show you how you can do it without a microphone all right, so I'm editing. All right, so now we got that clip in there. However, when I'm watching it back, I realize that I um, need to shorten that clip. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in really tight here. So I'm zooming way in. And I can see right here is where I start talking again. And I don't want this long pause right here. So I want to actually take this and shorten the, uh, the clip. So instead of, of hitting here and deleting, we can do that. However, I want to show you a different way of doing it. I can select the clip and see the right over here, these arrows. I can now shorten this clip by dragging. So I'm dragging this, bam. And I just shortened that clip. So let's listen to it now. A microphone. All right, so I'm editing the video right now. And That's much better. Now let's go to the end to make sure that uh, that is okay as well. 
So I'm also talking about the Apple Watch in there, using the Apple Watch. So I'm just going to listen through this and see if there's anything I need to edit out of this clip. All right, so at the end of this clip as well, there's um, a part that I want to take out. So tool to help you do that. All right, so now I'm going to grab the arrow again and just pull this back. Bam, right there. So now I stop talking and it goes into the next tip. To help you do that. So now that those two tech. All right, now here is what we need to do um, from here. We need to make this look a lot better. So when we're cutting from one scene to the next, we either need to have text overlays or we need to have a little bit of a shift in the camera. So I'm gonna show you how to do shifts in the camera right now to make these cuts look a little bit better. So if we watch this cut right here on the iPhone as well. So in today's video, we're not All gonna- right, So you see that the, the cut is a little drastic. The iPhone as well. So in today's video, we're and you can tell that it's a you, that you can tell that it's cut. So I might make this a little bit shorter. That little pause there. Phone as well. So in today's video, all right. So what I want to do is make this transition better. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to click on the actual clip, and then once I click on the clip and it's highlighted, I'm going to come down to the center row icons and I'm going to click on the pencil. Once I click on the pencil, that's going to bring up our um, editing menu and what i want to do is i want to come over on the first i believe it's the first icon here yes so on the first icon right here i'm going to click on that that's frame and fit and what i want to do is i want to grab one of these corners and i want to pull it out and make myself bigger into the frame so basically what i'm doing is acting like there's two cameras and when we make that cut it is going to zoom in on me so you can't tell that it was a hard cut so I grabbed one of the I grabbed one of the corners and I just pulled it out and rearranged and then I can tap on here and rearrange where I want this and then once I'm happy with that just make sure that it's not black on any of the edges once I'm happy with that I'm going to go up to the top of the top left of the screen I'm going to click this back button and now what I've done is I've is I've changed the frame so when when it cuts you don't see the the hard cut because I'm moving in onto my face so it looks like there's two camera angles so let's look at that so in today's video we're not going to be so now let's watch that cut on the iPhone as well so in today's video, we're not going to be. So now that looks much better because the cut isn't quite as noticeable. You you don't realize that I stopped, had to edit. It looks like I continue to go. It looks like I just took a breath and kept on talking. As well. So in today's video, we're not going to be using any. So that's that's really good there. Now I'm going to go to the next cut here. So I added that transition there before, but I'm not I'm not liking that transition. So I'm just going to take that transition out. I'm going to click on the transition. And then I'm going to click right here on the trash can right there. Okay, now, so since I've already adjusted this this first clip right here, now watch, it's automatically going to come out and it looks like a seamless transition from one angle to the next. Now let's watch that cut to the video. All right, so quickly a couple things. Number one, you want to make sure that the lighting is good where... All right, so there we go. Now I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to show you how to do this one more time, and then I'm going to uh, finish this off camera and show you a couple other tricks. All right, so let's look at this cut. Shade, so you're not actually squinting in people. All right. You're going to want to be in the shade, so you're not actually squinting in. All right, so now let's let's do this again. We're going to select this clip right here. We're going to click the pencil icon right here. And then we are going to grab a corner and drag it outwards. And then I'm going to just touch anywhere and reframe myself into the frame. And then I'm going to go to the top left and click the back button. And now it's a better transition. I'm going to be in the shade so you're not actually squinting and people can actually see your eyes. Now I just cut into here into a closer view. Now I want to cut into a further, uh, the regular view again. So I stopped it right there. I'm going to click the the scissor icon again. I'm going to split that clip, and then I'm going to tap the clip I want to edit. 
I'm going to go back to the pencil, and then I'm going to reset this. And I can reset this by making everything zero here. So if I just double tap on it, it resets it. Then I need to go to the size. I'm going to double tap on this. Bam, it resets it. Now everything's reset. I'm going to go back. So now we have another transition and, the, and another cut here. Your eyes. So that's very important when it comes to lighting. You want to make sure you get that. That's called a jump cut is basically what that's called. So I'm going to go and I'm going to fix all of these cuts and then I'll be right back. All right, so you can see that I have made all of those cuts. If you look, whenever I reach a cut, you're going to see it jump. And all the jump cuts are now in there. So in some of the instances, uh, jump cuts just aren't enough and we need more context. So in this next part, I'm going to show you how you can make this video a little bit more interesting, add more visual interest and things of that nature. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how to add some text. All right, so right here, I'm about to say, what is the biggest question I get all the time or something? That name? What, what do I actually say? What am I going to talk about? All right, so right there, it says, what am I going to talk about? So I'm going to add a a piece of text that actually says, what am I going to talk about there? So that it adds some interest into the video and a different visual. So down at the bottom, what I'm gonna do is there's a little plus button with a circle around it. I'm gonna click that plus button and it says overlay title. I'm gonna click overlay title. And then now you can see it put a little, th piece right above here. So I need to zoom back in. So I'm going to zoom back in and there we go. We have the title overlay. So what I want to do is click on the pencil icon. I'm going to highlight the over title overlay and then click on the pencil icon. Now what I want to do is edit this text to say, I'm going to have it say, what am I going to talk about? So I'm going to click on the text there. Once I click on the text, I can double tap here and that's going to open up my text editor and I'm going to type in what am I going to say or what am I what am I going to make a video about and then I'm going to add a line break in there all right so we have that there now what I want to do so I'm going to click out of here and then I'm going to actually add a black background as well so to, or, to add the black background, what I'm going to do is click on this little plus button over here. That's going to add up, uh, pop up something that says add layer. And what I want to do is add a shape. So this shape now is white. I'm going to change that to black. And then click on the box. I'm going to make, I'm going to grab one of the, actually, I think I need to come down here. There we go, I'm gonna change the scale. I'm gonna scale this all the way up. And then what I want to do is scroll back up to the top here. I wanna click and hold. Actually, I wanna close it. Once I close it, on the right, you'll see three bars. I click and hold that, and I just put it above the text. Now it's all black. So let's go back and watch what happens. And now I have text that says what I really wanted to say instead of saying, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to make a video about? And now we have a text visual in there. All right. So that's how you add text. We're going to do that one more time. All right. So right here, I'm going to say show and tell video. So I'm going to add another text overlay here. So I'm going to click the plus with the circle around it right here. And I'm going to click on text overlay. Then um, I'm going to make sure that the text overlay is highlighted. I'm going to click on the pencil icon and I'm going to d tap on the text and then I'm going to double tap on the text. That brings up my editor and then I'm going to write show and tell video. All right, we have show and tell video there. Now what I want to do is add a shape. And to add a shape, again, we're going to click the plus button and then we're going to click shape and we're going to change the color to black. 
And then we're going to click on the box and then we're going to scroll down to scale and we're going to scale that up. Once we scale it up, we're going to scroll back up. We're going to close this panel and then we're going to grab the three box or the three icon hamburger icon drag that to the top let it go and there we go now we're going to click the back button and now we have text again all right so right here all right show and tell video that's four seconds all right that's a little too long so we'll bring it back a little bit and there we go. So that's how you add some text to the video to make it a little more interactive. And I messed that up. So again, I'm going to click the back button. And that's how you add text to make it a little bit more interactive. Now, I also want to add some extra video into this. And we call those video or B-roll on top of the video to make it a little bit more interesting. So I have recorded some B-roll footage and I'm going to grab that B-roll footage and I'm going to put it into the video. All right. So this is the first one I'm going to put in. This is a video of the tripod that I'm using. So I'm going to grab the, the part. So basically what I'm doing is I'm clipping this video right now. I just want to grab the part that I want, which is this part right here. And then when I'm talking about the tripod and no extra accessories, that's where I want to put that in. So I got to find that part. All right. So right here's where I talk about the tripod. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the tripod footage. So I already clipped uh, what I wanted. I'm going to press and hold and I'm going to drag this down right here. See how it's a white box on top of this. That's going to place it on top of the video. And now when I start talking about the tripod, it's going to give me some B-roll of the tripod. So let's look and see what that looks like. And I'm going to cut that off just a little right there. All right. So when you want to add B-roll on top of the footage, that's how you do it. All right, so in this, this clip right here, as I'm finishing talking, you can see that I look down to look at my notes. And I can't really clip it off because if I clip off where I look down, it's going to clip off the end of the word. So I want to have put a visual here that helps um, hide the fact that, that I actually look down at my camera. So what I'm going to do is actually put a B-roll clip there. All right, so I just recorded that B-roll shot that I want to use and I need to find it. It's right here. So I recorded me using the camera app. All right, so we're going to go from here, All right? That is the transition I want. I want to trim that off a little bit right there all right so now I have this part of the video that I want we can click on that see what I'm looking at all right and then what I want to do is I want to click on here I just want to press hold you can see that I have the video clip now and I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna put it right over top of here so now that video clip is actually going to play over top of me and then transition into here so you don't see my eyes going down. However, as you can see, the way I recorded the video, the video was in the wrong orientation. So I now need to actually crop or not crop, but rotate this video. So I'm going to select it, make sure it's selected, click on the pencil button. I'm going to come right down here to where it says rotation and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. So let's just type in our So I'm going to adjust that by clicking the arrows. All right, we're now at 90 degrees. We need to bring the size down. There we go. And now that fits inside of there. So let's come back. And if we look at this, whoops, put that back to where it was. Just hit back. All right. So now we talk about the camera app, regular camera app right on the iPhone. So that's what we're going to use for this.
All right, so now you can actually hear that there is a volume on there. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to then click at the bottom. It's, it looks like a sound wave. It's the second icon here. I'm gonna click on that. That separates the sound out. Now, um, if I look here, I can actually click on the sound that's separate and I'm gonna delete the sound out of there. So now the sound isn't gonna be there. Camera app right on the iPhone. So that's what we're gonna use for this. So I'm gonna spend the bulk of this. So now I was able to get rid of my eyes going off of the camera by adding a set of B-roll in there. So that's how you make the video more interesting. And really that's all you need to do to edit out the video. Now, what I wanna talk about real quick is the show and tell video. This is how you do a voiceover when you're doing the show and tell video. So let's go to the section where I'm talking about the voiceover. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of my clips that I'm right here. I, I, I recorded some clips of me showing some tools that would be helpful. Now I'm going to edit these and then I'm going to do a voiceover for it. So I'm gonna do the edits real quick and then I'll show you how to do the voiceovers cause you already know how to do the edits. All right, so right now what I wanna do is create a voiceover to go over top of this footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm right here, the little circle with the plus button, I'm gonna click the plus button and I'm gonna click on the voiceover. When I click on the voiceover, it's going to show me um, my voice and you can see I'm talking and it's, you can see the bars going up and down. That means it's recording my voice. You don't want it to go into the red. If it goes into the red, that's bad. But what we wanna do is click ready and it's going to count down. Once it counts down, then I can start talking about the items that I'm showing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna click ready. You're gonna see the countdown. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking and it's gonna record the voiceover for me. Would be helpful when you're creating a video. So these right here are the lavalier microphones. Very helpful. This is a lens pin. You can use the lens pin to actually clean the lens of the iPhone so it's not dirty and you look all clean and stuff. Now this is a big one. That's the iPad where you can take all your notes and your show notes, things like that. Use the Apple Pencil and then just lay out what the show is going to be about and what you're going to do. Now we have the Apple Watch. There you go. All right, so I said click the ready button, but as you've seen, what I actually clicked on was the little round circle. That was what gave me the countdown. Now we have our voiceover is, is in there. So let's listen to see what that sounds like now. And to listen to what it sounds like, just click on the triangle button down here at the bottom. So these right here are the lavalier microphones. Very helpful. This is a pause. So now you can see I just took video clips and then recorded a voiceover inside of the app. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and click the green check mark. That's going to take me out. And now I have my voiceover in the video. So there you have it. So one thing I noticed is that the voiceover went a little too far. So I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to pull it back and make it even with the audio or the video, make it a little less. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you how to do is how to export your movie and upload it directly to YouTube. Now you could save this to your files, upload it to YouTube a different way. However, for the sake of this video, we're gonna show you how to upload it right to YouTube from the app. Now, obviously I'm not going to upload or export this movie right now because I'm still editing it. So I created a example project so I could do an example export. Now, to export this movie, what we want to do is go to the bottom right. There's a little box with an arrow pointing up through the box. We're going to tap on that. That's going to open up a menu. Once we open up that menu, we're going to see movie and we're going to click on movie. That's going to give us options to where we can export this movie to. We can export it to our photos, to YouTube, Vimeo, and our files. And then we could add other destinations if we so please. However, we're gonna go ahead and upload this right to YouTube. Now, when you click YouTube, it's gonna ask you to log into your YouTube account. So you're going to need your YouTube credentials. In my case, I have all of my passwords and LastPass, and that is how I am going to log in. But 
we're going to click on YouTube. It's going to say LumaFusion wants to use Google.com to sign in this uh, to allow this app to share information about you. It might ask you to log into your, your YouTube account and you, you have to do that as well. So whatever this says, just follow those instructions, get into your YouTube account. So here it's asking me to sign into my um, account that I want to upload it to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my account. Now, for this example, I'm actually going to put this on my client training videos. Now it's going to ask you um, if they can manage your YouTube account and upload videos to it. You're going to have to allow that. So go ahead and click allow. All right, and that brings us to the export settings. We want to make sure that the resolution is 1080p, and that's 1920 by 1080. If it's not, you can click the little carrot, and you can scroll through the options. Then close the carrot, 30 frames per second. It actually defaults at web, 6 megabytes per second. So we want to change that to at least economy or standard. I'm going to go with standard, leave the audio the same. Video Kodak, all of this is going to remain the same. This is going to show you the export duration, how much space it needs. And down at the bottom left, right here, it's going to show you how much space you have on your actual device to make sure that you have enough space on your device. Now we're going to go up to the top right and click the box with the arrow button facing upwards. We're going to click that. That's going to bring us to our info. Now this is going to be our information for YouTube. So we're going to put a title in the first box, a description in the second box, any tags, tags are like keywords, in the third box. Next, we're going to go down to our categories and select a category. I have people and blogs selected. That is fine. Then you can choose if you want it to be private, public, or unlisted. So public is going to be for everyone to use. Unlisted means you need to share a YouTube link in order for someone to see it. And private means only you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this private. And then I will make it public if I want to later on YouTube. And then I'm going to click the top right button with the box and the arrow facing out of it. Now, again... This is going to export the movie first, and then it's going to upload it. So it's going to take a little while depending on how long your video is and how big the file is. So let's go ahead and click that button and you'll see it export. Mine's going to happen relatively quick because it's a small video. So there you have it. It went ahead and exported the movie and then uploaded it. Now I'm just going to hit OK. Or if you want to view the file, you can click View. That will open up YouTube so you can see the file. I'm going to click OK. And now your video is exported and uploaded to YouTube right from your app. And that's how easy it is to actually record, edit, and publish your video right from your iPhone. Now, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, hit the like button if you could, and also leave a comment because it helps motivate me to keep making these videos for you guys. Let me know if it helped or if you need any other video made, and we'll try to add it to the list of videos that we're making for y'all. So thanks, have a fantastic day, and as always, hopefully we'll see you on the beaches of the world.